What's up everybody? This is Joey from Anderson Overland. We've had some people ask me to do a little walk around of our Smitty Belt Scout trailer. So I figured today before we head out, um, I'd kind of show you guys what this thing is all about and how we use it and what we like about it and what we don't like about it. So I guess we'll just start in the front. Um, this comes with a breakaway system, a braking breakaway system um, with a battery um, and a charger. It's 12 volt. Um, it just connects right up to your uh, trailer hitch and stuff um, via the plug. I don't use it. I've never uh, hooked it up. Um, I installed it when we um, uh, built the trailer, um, but I never use it because I just don't feel like I need it. Um, I don't have enough weight in this thing um, to really have a, a huge need for a breakaway system, but it's there. Um, I just unplug the plugs in the back and tape them up just so that the, you know, when there's no electricity going to this thing, that the brakes aren't actuated uh, or activated. So anyways, it comes with a breakaway system, which is cool, cool feature. Um, one thing that it doesn't come with, which I was kind of bummed about, I had to buy separate, is an articulating hitch. Um, this is called the lock and roll hitch. Um, it has uh, yaw, you know, pitch roll, all that kind of stuff, so that when you're out on the trail, um, it'll move around. So this, this portion um, goes, you know, left and right. And then if you look back here on the truck, um, it connects right in here and this articulates um, like that rotates. So it's a pretty cool feature. Um, they're about 250 bucks uh, from um, Lock and Roll. If you go to Lock and Roll Hitches, I think it's lockandrollhitches.com. Um, you just search Google, it'll come up. There's also another um, solution for this. I can't remember the name of it, but Smitty built in their directions for this the Scout trailer, they'll tell you um, the two different options. And the other option is pretty cool too, but we went with the lock and roll. I've been really happy with it. Um, so anyways, it has an emergency brake here. Um, when you install the, the um, braking system, you can adjust it. Um, I have mine adjusted pretty well. Sometimes it takes a couple times um, to get it just right, but uh, there's some cables. Um, if you look, I don't know if you can see it, but um, right here there's a cable that runs the whole length from the front all the way back to the brake drums back here, um, and you adjust that, and that's what it uses to actuate the brake uh, lever in the back uh, for the e-brake. So pretty cool. It comes with the, the e-brake, the breakaway system, um, and the quality of this trailer is, is awesome. I was pretty impressed with how they built the, um, the components. Um, and. Uh, just the overall construction was pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, putting it together was pretty easy too. It just took a little while. So, anyways, it comes with uh, trailer brakes um, and all that stuff. Um, the running lights. There's some nice bright running lights. You can see mine are all muddy because we've been hitting the trail last couple days. Um, super high quality uh, brake lights in the back um, with side lights too. Um, I was pretty impressed with that. Um, the only thing that I would say maybe they need to improve on is maybe just the way that they do the wiring and stuff. You can see right here, um, it's kind of, this is kind of chintzy. Um, I'm just kind of sealing it with some, um, some glue or something right there, but they might be able to do a little bit better job with that. But other than that, it's not a big deal. Um, in the back, you got these big long um, drawers, which is cool. They slide out and lock in place. There's a little lever, lever here where you can lock it in place, which is cool. So like if you're parked on a hill or something, it's still connected to the truck and you gotta get back to your, your cooler or whatever you guys have back here, um, these will lock in place. This thing won't push back and won't slide back in, which is kind of nice. Um, I really like that feature. Uh, the, the Scout trailer doesn't come with a um, shelf like this. I actually installed this myself because I wanted more storage for uh, you know just little miscellaneous things. We've got our little portable bathroom um, stall here and uh, I got a little homemade solar array there for my Goal Zero setup um, that I wanted to put in here. And we can put jackets and stuff in there too. Um, I also put these little click on uh, lights um, in each compartment which is nice at night when you come back to camp. We're usually out on the trail a lot um, during the day so at night when I come back um, I light this thing up like Fort Knox. I installed these lights here. These run back uh, through the back compartment um, along here and into my Goal Zero battery. I store my Goal Zero battery in all of our light systems here. You can see the light there, um, the cable, and I just made just a little 
a little uh, custom 12 volt plug in. I can just plug right into the front of the goal battery, goal zero battery. So that way I can turn it on and off like a switch um, when I want it and um, it's not hooked to the trailer. Um, Cause I wanted to be able to use it outside of being able to, you know, outside of being hooked to the Forerunner uh, power, I wanted it to be uh, powered uh, by the goal zero system. So that way when it's disconnected, I don't gotta worry about that, um, which is kind of convenient. Um, and that way too, I run a cable up to our overlanding tent here, right through the compartment, and it lights up our tent inside too from the goal zero. And I can just disconnect and connect it to turn it on and off up there, which is kind of convenient. So it's pretty nice the way they set these up. You can see on um, this first, first compartment, um, just a nice little roll out drawer. We just got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here, lights and got another, another goal zero um, set up in here for cell phones and stuff. Um, all of our cables, some, um, you know, flashlights and just miscellaneous stuff in there. And then uh, we store our, uh, our Camp Chef Summit series, uh, which we did a review on yesterday. We'll be posting that too. Um, as long as lanterns and all of our propane uh, bottles and, and uh, that kind of, kind of thing. Um, we put our batteries and stuff for our flashlights in here. Just a nice little compartment for that. Um, I mean, obviously you guys will set it up however you want to set it up, but that's the way we have ours. Um, it's nice. Each one of these doors has a nice quality latch with a lock on it. So you can feel pretty good about leaving this thing behind on the trail. Um, it's nice that they put that feature in there and they're pretty high quality. You can see um, they're, they're built pretty beefy. They're well-made um, part. So, um, like I said, in the back here, you've got this tray and you have a shelf one. You can see the difference in the two trays. I took these um, little tie down hooks off of this one because we wanted to be able to slide our stuff back in here easily. Um, but it just depends on your application. These are a max 200 pound uh, load. Um, what would be cool in the next version if they would make it so that you can flip them. So say I want a tray over here and shelf over here or both, you know, shelf, shelf or whatever. It's pretty much exactly the same thing, I think. Um, so it'd be rad if they, you could flip them. Um, that would be an option that I think would be cool. Um, but they, they lock in place, so you know, you've got an extra lock there, which is nice. Um, they also have tie downs on the inside wall here. They put these little uh, eyelets here on the inside, which is pretty rad. Um, all the way back, um, they're just mirrored to the ones on the outside. So you got ones here on the outside of the trailer too to um, tie stuff down with. We usually put our um, our uh, Smitty built uh, recovery ramps here, um, just so they're, you know, attached to the trailer. Um, so pretty nice, um, lots of storage. This, this thing goes uh, pretty far back. Um, and what I liked about this trailer, we, we went to the Overland Expo um, in Flagstaff a couple months ago, and we were looking at Turtleback and, uh, gosh, there's a bunch of uh, companies out there. And, um, for a setup with compartments and solar and all that stuff, I was getting quoted like twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars for a trailer like this, and a lot of them, to be honest with you, was basically just a Toyota Tacoma a bed with two tires on it. I mean, anybody could build that. You could go to a military surplus and, and get something like that and build it up. Um, and and a lot of them weren't compartmentalized. I'm big on compartments. I'm a fireman. My engine, my truck are all compartmentalized. I like to know where all my equipment is and where to go. Um, and uh, with this Smitty Belt Scout trailer, they did a really good job of that. Um, they, they really thought it out. Um, on the other side here, um, you have, um, actually first before we move there, yeah. You have these stabilizers. Um, this is kind of nice, so when you have your, your tent up top, you know, whether it be a CBT or a Smitty Belt or whatever it is, we have the Smitty Belt Overlander, which is really nice. Um, they give you these little gauges here, um, little levels, so you can get it level, because it's, it's kind of a bummer when you're in your tent and you're rolling to one side in the middle of the night, right? So I'm big on having stuff level. Um, it's nice they give you these, these crank um, stands here so you can level your system out. Um, there's one on the front, obviously, for the front of the tail, or the front of the, um, uh, the tongue of the trailer, and then there's these two, and these disconnect, which is kind of nice. So. Um, they made it really nice so that you can either flip this thing like this and store it to the side when you're traveling. I don't like to leave them on there when I'm traveling, so I just pull them off, stick them in the front with all the rest of my tools, um, and I leave these on, um, which I guess if you're doing a lot of 4x4 and stuff on the trail, you might not want to leave that on there, but um, might get caught up on something. but. I've never had an issue with leaving this section on, but you can pull these out too. You just pop this pin 
undo the, uh, this bolt right here and these will pop out and you can take the whole thing off. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty, it's pretty good the way they designed that. Um, you also have these recovery hooks. Um, these are 600 pound capacity. Um, these two right here. This one is a 200 pound capacity uh, tongue weight. And this is for like mountain bikes and stuff. I just put this in here just for looks. Um, or just if I needed to tie something up. But it's cool you can put one of those like Thule or Yakima racks in here. Um, so behind your trailer you could have your mountain bikes and stuff like that too. Which is pretty sweet. So they thought of a lot of things here. Um, and what something I just found out this morning actually I don't know if they did this on purpose but this trailer will fit in a 10 by 10 storage facility um, I don't know if they designed it that way but the 10 by 10s at like a self storage are pretty cheap um, I'm probably gonna store this in one this winter so it's not outside of my house in Big Bear because we get a lot of a lot of snow where I live and uh, I don't want this thing to get destroyed so um, we're gonna store it and uh, that 10 by 10 works real good so um, just a little tidbit. Um, you can see underneath, they got full suspension, um, nice springs and, and dual uh, shocks on each side um, with limit straps. It's kind of nice to have when you're out on the trail. Um, it's pretty beefy. And uh, yeah, I've had no issues with it at all. And it works really well. We've had it on some pretty crazy trails. Um, we were up in Mammoth uh, recently and going on some trails with it and um, it performed great. It wasn't bouncing around all over the place and feeling like it was going to tip or anything. Um, it uh, absorbed all the all the bumps and all the uh, the ruts real good. Um, they send it with uh, Pro Comp um, all-terrain tires. Um, they're great. They track real nicely. Um, really, really stoked with that. Um, let's see what else. This other compartment here is nice this is meant for a generator um, actually and um, they designed it so that you can pull this thing out and it has a stand um, below it let me get some of this stuff out and I'll show you guys so like if you have the ge a generator in here like say maybe a Honda uh, U1000 or something um, <clears throat> this will roll out and Underneath, it has a stand to, kick, to take the weight. So it's vented underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see it, Robin, if you can get the camera underneath here. But there's vents down here for the generator or for heat and stuff like that, as well as this little guy. So you can put this down, and this will take the weight, the extra weight of a generator or whatever weight you have in here. If you're, you know, if this is what you decide to cook on or whatever you want to do. Um, this was designed for the Smitty Built Generator, which you can get, which fits perfectly inside this thing. I didn't end up getting one because I, I like my Goal Zero setup, but it's just basically on, you know, what you prefer. Um, but it's kind of nice that they did that so that it takes the weight of the generator in this cabinet. Um, just a, another nice thing that they thought about. Um, so that's, uh, <clears throat> that's that setup. I use this for my tools and we put our roto packs in here um, some guys were having I was actually having some issues too with the roto packs swelling um, when you store them up on top of your truck and in the Sun and stuff um, they have a tendency to swell and uh, so I like to store mine in here works out real good and uh, they fit perfectly I mean you could see them uh, you could probably get I don't know maybe another two maybe three width wise so I just have my fuel and my water in here usually use this water for our fire pit um, but yeah you can see the other cable here like I was talking about with the e-brake on this side too um, just did a real nice job more eyelets um, and uh, it also has this rack I don't know if you can see here the rack that the, the tent is setting uh, sitting on um, is pretty beefy and it goes up pretty high which is pretty sweet so that way if you want to lift your tent up you could probably go another <clears throat> maybe another 12 inches up on this thing and you can store canoes and stuff like that underneath, which is really nice. Uh, another thing that kind of sold us on this tra trailer is your tank can be pretty high up um, and you can put stuff underneath. So eventually I might put a canoe or something, uh, kayaks or something underneath this, a uh, raft or whatever. Um, but you can see on the other side, it's an exact mirror of this. This is the Smitty Built awning. Um, and this moves up and down. You can go in and out. So that way, you know, you can move this out away from from your tent um, uh, things here, your supports. 
Um, and you know, for tall guys like me, it's kind of nice to, I bring it all the way out and up so that I can walk underneath it because uh, <laughs> it just sucks to have to do this the whole time. It's pretty nice, really nice and adjustable. This literally takes two minutes to set up. The setup of the awning is super easy. Um, they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, if you get onto um, fourwheelparts.com, um, they're the ones that, that push this for uh, Smitty Built. You can see the prices on there. They're pretty inexpensive for what it is. And there's a bunch of other companies that make them. Um, we, uh, we like Smitty Built stuff, so I have um, a bunch of their stuff. Uh, so it all fits together really nicely. So let's see, what else here? I think that's pretty much it. We have uh, the front compartment. Um, so you can store all your tools in and stuff. I put cables, I like to, to lock up the trailer um, axles when we're gone. So that way nobody can just drive off with this thing. Um, another cool thing about the lock and roll hitch is not a lot of people have the lock and roll hitch. So you really don't have to worry about someone just Joe Blow, you know, ghetto guy coming in here and taking your trailer <laughs> with just a normal hitch. You'd have to rig something up. So that's kind of a nice thing uh, with having that lock and roll or the other uh, solution. Um, another thing you can get, I think, as a kit, a side kit, um, I got this thing with my trailer, but you can, I think you normally have to buy it separately, is the uh, extra tire kit. Um, and uh, it's nice, just another um, all-terrain tire, has the nice straps to hold that thing in there, and then the, the nice um, stand that goes here for your tire. Um, and I also cable this thing in, because I don't want someone walking away with this thing uh, while we're out. So just some really nice things that they, they did to this, this trailer, which sold us on it. Um, like I said, the big thing for me was the compartments and being able to, uh, um, you know, store my stuff in compartments and things like that. So um, we're going to do another uh, walk around of the tent um, and uh, show you guys that too. Um, and uh, hope you guys got some out of this and hopefully it helped you make a decision on buying one of these things. Um, if you're looking, man, the Smitty Built Scout trailer is pretty, pretty awesome, and uh, I would say it's the way to go. So they, they thought about a lot of uh, things on this thing to make it nice. I mean, you got rubber seals on all your doors. I mean, they, they really thought it through. So, um, and you can tell as you start using it that they thought things through and, and uh, did a good job. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we're going to get packed up here and hit the road. So, love you. Anderson Overland, out.